This is a story about a very simple man. A simple man did what seemed to be a very simple job. But as always is the case with Mike Bradley, nothing is simple. You will see a happy-go-lucky guy turn into a swearing, shocked individual with no one else to blame but himself. If children or pets are nearby, warning, there may be a few naughty words that come out. Hello, Mike Bradley here. Hope you are doing well as always. And we are in my living room today uh, because what we're going to do on camera two here, we've got my, my strap, my Bradcaster. And if you've been following me, uh, I mentioned in the last video about this guitar um, that I'm going to be changing the bridge out here um, for this Callahan bridge. And I also have obviously a way bar and I've got the springs and cavity claw, I guess as well. So um, apparently the springs make a difference as well and be changing the claw. But as I mentioned before, um, also I'm on the sofa, A, because I'm a typical bloke and it's just easier, and B, for camera angles um, and light, it's a lot, lot easier. So I'm doing this for you guys. So um, if my lady Laura is watching, I'm sorry I'm on the sofa, naughty boy, doing this. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned in a previous video, this isn't really a tonal thing. This is because... Um, the saddles on this are a little bit too wide for it as the high E string is falling off. I believe this is a, I think a 56 and this new one is a 54 mil. Um, I may be wrong on those exact numbers. Uh, if I am wrong, the correct numbers would be coming up on the screen. So it's been a mental couple of days. So um, there's trying to, <laughs> a lot of things in my head at the moment. Um, but either way, these are, you know, the, these here, so you can't see that there, but these here are narrow, narrower um, saddles. And I borrowed a friend's and they're sounded great uh, in it and it made it actually a lot better. Um, I can't remember hearing the difference, but I have already recorded my, uh, a few you know, chords and, and lead lines using this saddle. And then once I put this on and the springs and the new claw, um, I'll do similar ideas and we can hear if there is a tonal difference but the main thing for me is a plain difference um, i don't want that high e string um falling off when i'm playing all right so um yeah i've got my springs i've got my bits and bobs on the sofa here uh you know strings uh wind up i'm using only ball tens um i usually use uh the paradigms but um the regulars are what on here at the moment. I've only been on for like two days or something. So sound wise, get it the same. I prefer the paradigms, but I knew I'd be doing this and the paradigms are, you know, expensive strings. So got these, got my winder, got my clips. I've got my tuner. Uh, let's get in. So the first things first, I suppose, is um, taking off these strings, all right? So, uh, oh, one thing actually before I go, uh, I should say that I have, uh, with my ruler, <laughs> and I measured the distance on the saddles. So I measured on here and then got them roughly the same on the new one. Just so when it comes to kind of, you know, imitating the guitar, it saves time a little bit. And the same thing regarding, um, the, I made a note of it's like 20.5 mil, I think it is something like that. Uh, is it 25 point, is it mils? It must be mils, yeah. Um, so I made just a little note, just so again, so it's as close as it is originally, you know. Uh, so anyway, enough waffling, way bar off. That's a new way bar, I put that there. Get these strings off. Right, give it a little dust, why not? Okay, so now, now I would like to put this on my lap really because uh, it's easier, but for the sake of the camera, 
going to undo these screws. Um, they're pretty, saying that, uh, what would be the easiest thing to do? I suppose taking the springs off makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get these springs off. I've never actually taken springs off before. I'm guessing you just go like that. One, two, three. Now I am not a maintenance guy at all, but I'm sure this is quite straightforward. Right, so let's say this needs to come out. Um, and let me just see what is actually, as I can with my duster, give it a little, little dust in there um what's it like okay so i've never changed it before but i've got to bear in mind that i want it to be like that i don't want it to be sitting flat i have i have it um a little bit floaty every, anyway but obviously the fire springs are in it i've never had fire springs in a strap before um cosmetically i like the look of it and it does hold its tuning better as well i've been finding so i think i'll stick with that but um, I guess now I want to unscrew this. Uh, I'm going to screw up the camera angle for a minute while I do this. Right, I'm not going to change the claw. <laughs> Only because there is a wire what needs soldering and I'm not the greatest solderer. So I'm going to hold fire on that and just change this block uh, because I haven't got my soldering iron here and I expect, um, yeah, I'll have to do that another day, I think. Um, so yeah, the main thing I'm going to be doing is the block and the springs because I thought I'd have to solder. I did have a feeling there's a wire there. So yeah, we'll be leaving that. <laughs> we'll be leaving that for a minute. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave the claw, leave that screw. So it's just gonna be the trem block and the springs. All right. So let's undo this. That's interesting, that's thicker. That's about the same, okay. All right, let's undo this one. Right, so this is just slide out, I'm guessing. Nice. So, that's that there. Um, excellent, you know what? Let me just put a bit of a rag down there so uh, I don't get too much crap on the, on the sofa here. Right, so. Where did I just put that? <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, so the holes are different and stuff like that, but uh, weight wise, it's hard to kind of tell the difference actually. They're both about the same weight wise, but like the holes and stuff, it's hard to kind of show you here. I don't know if I've ever to pick it up on this camera here. I don't want to screw the focus. You know, they're slightly different. The holes are different shapes and whatnot. But like I say the main thing I can see that the saddles, again, not sure if that's picking up or not, but the saddles, just from sight, I can see they're uh, together a bit more, you know. Right, anyway, so this is the Goto one. I'll be selling this actually probably. Um, and Darren, if you're watching, I'll probably be coming to you to do the soldering, mate. <laughs> so this should just slot in beautifully there and the holes match. So let's use the spirit. Uh, I'm guessing there's some screws in here. I'm trying not to wreck this too much because I want to keep the cavity claw in there. Now I just got a little bit perplexed just then as, so these are the original screws which you can see is that size and then the ones what come come with the callaham are significantly bigger and i was like is that is that correct hopefully that's 
kind of coming out. You could even just see there, you know. Um, and I was like, is that right? Is that how it should be? But I guess it should. No, God, please, no, 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 no! I mean, Interesting. So that for some reason, I mean, you can tell the better material, I guess. But they are a hell of a lot deeper. Oh well, let's let's see what happens. Let me get the other screws. My bastard. Interesting. Yeah, I'll fast forward this bit, but as you can imagine, I'm screwing in all the six screws. All right, so this isn't moving at all now, so I'm gonna loosen that out of one band next to. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah, so <laughs> I shouldn't have used these screws. These are far too long because they've actually gone through to the bit underneath. Fuck's sake. Shit. I thought that looked too fucking long, those screws. I was like, that makes no fucking sense. Yeah, I've put some holes in the f***ing back. Uh, shit. I mean, it's not it's not the end of the world, but it's a pain in the f***ing ass. So I have to beat this. So I'm, I'm pretty pissed off. Right, let me put the original screws back in. Crying out loud. No, as I was doing that, I thought, is that going to be... Are those going to be too long? They're going to go through to the wood. Literally was going through my whole mind the whole time. I wish I flipping checked. Um, after I did the first one, oh well. Me and guitar maintenance do not get on. Why the hell, honestly, the screws what Callaham have uh, gave are the two big long ones for obviously the, uh, the, the trim claw and then six of those longer screws. As soon as I turn this camera off, I'm going to swear so much. <laughs> Fuck. Well, the guitar's certainly flipping relic now, isn't it? I mean, luckily, it's, it's you know, it's not seen. It's where the springs are, but, uh, but still, it's, um, it's not ideal. So if I loosen these... Think how silly they are. These were a lot more looser here.
that's a bit like how it was. It was kind of a little bit loose. It wasn't so stiff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Oh my God, so angry with myself. All right. Also, the springs will will protect it. Right, let's put on these uh, new springs. I like my, are these going to put holes in my flipping guitar as well? Uh, what way does this go? I must go like that. My God, getting these springs in. I have never put springs in before. That is hard. <laughs> so you can, you may be able to pick it up there. You can kind of see the holes, man. I mean, it is what it is. I've done it now. Um, um, I just wish my comments, like I said, I thought, I bet you were just screaming at the computer. <laughs> or your phone saying, don't do it, are you insane? And uh, clearly I was, uh, because I thought, these, these screws are a lot longer, but that's what's being done, so maybe it's more sustain. I don't know, but, um, oh, my camera's run out there. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those days today, right, f me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, String her up and um, see what happens then. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Hi, guys. How you doing? So, editing this back, uh, what you're about to see is the original bridge against the uh, Callahan bridge. Now, I think when I did uh, the Callahan one, I didn't hit the overdrive pedal one. I was using the Duelist overdrive pedal. And uh, either I hit it on and I had the gain on zero or I just didn't hit it on. I can't remember. <laughs> I did this about a month or so ago. So um, some of it's clean, but when you're hearing dirt from the original and there's not really any dirt on the Callahan, that is why. But I think the Callahan does a pretty good job keeping up the fact that there's no overdrive kicked on but later on just afterwards you'll hear me do some uh, drive sounds of it so um yes i thought i'd let you know anyway back to comparison of this video poor young mike back then <laughs>
Mother of God, right, okay. Um, so that's the sounds with it. What a nightmare. <laughs> I'm so annoyed with myself about that. I mean, you wouldn't be able to see, only I know. Uh, I mean, you know, I like guitars that tell stories. This now has a story, you know. So uh, I got the strings on. Um, you've heard the sounds. I'm intrigued to hear back the comparisons myself. Um, first inspections on, not inspections, but first kind of feeling, the guitar feels so much more slinkier. Um, it's a lot, lot, lot more easier to bend. <laughs> um, so much so that when I was, I probably spent about an hour, not, yeah, knocking on it really, after move going from different rooms, um, the I snapped the high E string. <laughs> I tuned it all up and I was having a bit of a bend. I was like, do I like it? And I snapped the high E string. I haven't snapped a string, a new string, a brand new string in years. So I was like, oh, that's strange. Um, so yeah, snapped the high E string. Uh, so I put another high E on and then the notation was just smidge out. I'm glad that I kind of, kind of measured it before I did it. Um, but I've kind of done that and it's kind of nearly there. Um, this is the, the Wang bar, the new, the, the Callahan Whammy bar. Uh, I think it might be, I think it's shorter, but I thought it was longer then. Um, but as you may see on the camera, it's a slightly different, no, obviously it's more of a creamy color as opposed to the, yes, of course my battery and my camera's running out. Uh, so I may put the original end switch on um, here just to make it cosmetically the same. Um, but the main thing what I wanted this for was the sh to stop the high E string falling off. And that does seem to be the case. Uh, it definitely seems to be a lot better. If, 
it does feel a bit different. Um, Cause the action's high. This is higher, but what I like now is that. Um, I'm able to get a better float with it, which I kind of like. a little bit so I need I'm um, yeah I'm looking forward to hearing the difference um, when no when I hear it back with you pretty much um, and it's just getting used to it a little bit I might take I'm probably gonna give my pal Darren uh, the guy who, who is massively helped me with all this uh, I might get him just have a little look over it just to make sure it's all good you know a little service bit of a checkup so if my eyes are wandering, I can just see the battery light flashing at me. So, um, but like I say, the main thing was to stop this high E string. Um, and it is a lot more slinkier. The action kind of feels the same. I don't like a low action. I don't know if it needs to go up a smidge more, but um, it seems on, on a feel. Just this high E string, which is um, causing a little bit of a, of a problem. That's, that's, that's the one what snapped. And that's the point, when I was um, tuning it up, the high E string was just, you're just turning, it wasn't changing. And so I slackened the strings and I just tightened all the screws up here and that seemed to sort that out a little bit. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't, really do guitar maintenance like this so um, you know this is a relatively simple thing but it's amazing how much it does change things but like I say that high E string is not falling off but I can hear a little slight buzz on that high on here so um, yeah that might be a trust rod thing I don't know um, but I think it's done its job, it's just been a faff. <laughs> it's not like that, but it's definitely kind of buzzing a bit on that. I might try just raising the high E up a little Anyway, I'm gonna let you be. Uh, I'm gonna have a little lay down because it's been a stressful couple of hours. And uh, I put six holes in my guitar. But you know, you live by the sword, you die <laughs> by the sword. <laughs> oh, God help me. Anyway, I'm sorry if the odd swear word come out. Uh, as you can imagine, if you put six screw holes in your guitar i'm sure some curse words be coming out of yours so uh beep 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 anyway uh i'm gonna live with this for a bit and uh, i'm sure i'll do an update video somewhere down the line uh i've been mike bradley i hope you're good as well please give this video a like <laughs> give me some love and uh I'll see you soon. Bye.